Hello, my name is Caroline from Intersoft Systems, the company behind the development of the market leading software FinPower Connect. Today I'd like to introduce our integration of the Credit and Data Bureau of Papua New Guinea into our FinPower Connect software. This is a significant advancement for our product for our users, and it will allow our users to have access to the most up-to-date and accurate credit data available. Our team has worked hard to create this integration and we're excited to offer it as an option to lenders using FinPower Connect in Papua New Guinea. With this integration, lenders will be able to make better decisions when it comes to lending, as they will have information about a borrower's credit history, including any defaults right from within FinPower Connect. Furthermore, this integration will save users time and effort, as they can easily access this information directly within FinPower Connect using the quick and easy credit inquiry wizard, making the lending process faster and more efficient. In addition to this, the credit inquiry is stored automatically against the client record and is available for review at any time, which is also great for audit purposes. So let me show you what this looks like within FinPower Connect. What we're seeing here is a completed credit inquiry on an individual. This is a test case, but it gives us a good idea of what we can see on a consumer credit inquiry. We can see key information for a lending assessment, such as any relevant alerts, including how many credit inquiries they've had in the last 12 months, any credit defaults that have been listed against them, previous addresses, identification items such as driver's license numbers used to check against their credit history, passport employee number, and public service payroll ID numbers, employment details that have been recorded, contact details, any additional names recorded against their credit history, and any previous inquiries listed. In our example here, you can see it states the inquiries have been completed by Finance Corporation Limited. In a real world example, this would state the name of the lender completing the inquiry. To complete a credit inquiry in FinPower Connect is a very simple process. From the client record, you can click the Credit Inquiry button, which will launch the Credit Inquiry Wizard. The first page confirms the service, and as you can see here, Credit and Data Bureau is already there, along with the Consumer Report option. When we click Next, we select the relevant inquiry type from the list, enter the amount being applied for, and the name of the guarantor if applicable. On the next page is confirming the personal information for the borrower being inquired upon and adding additional information where necessary, such as identification information. Once ready, clicking next will pop up with a warning for the user to confirm they wish to proceed with the inquiry, and we are then presented with our credit report. It's a similar process for commercial inquiries, as I'll show you now. From a company client record launching the Credit Inquiry Wizard from the same Credit Inquiry button or, alternatively, launching the wizard from the client menu here. This time we can see the company report has been pre-populated. Next we confirm the company name and registration number, if you have it, and proceed on. A list will appear of companies that match the search criteria and if there's no registration number and the company name is similar to others, we may see more than one result. In this case here, we found the one we're looking for so we can proceed. Again, we select the relevant inquiry type from the list and enter the amount being applied for. And again, the name of the guarantor if applicable. And then we can proceed on, pass the alert to our company credit report. Much like the consumer report, we can see statistics on any notices issued, defaults recorded, and how many credit inquiries have been made against the company. We can see the registration status of the company and the date that they registered. Addresses used, contacts, then the list of previous inquiries, including the company that completed the inquiry, and further details of any applicable defaults, notices, or warnings if they have any. Once you're licensed for credit inquiries, to set this up in FinPower Connect, all you need to do is add the Credit and Data Bureau credentials in your cost centre. These credentials are supplied by the Bureau once the sign-up process is complete. 
your production credentials need to go on the credentials tab. This is for live inquiries and if enabled test credentials for running inquiries in test mode. The verify credentials button on each tab allows you to check the details that you've entered are correct. Beneath the main credentials is the ability to add user overrides for individual credentials if required. On the options page, you need to tick the enable credit inquiry box up the top. You can then optionally set defaults to appear in the credit inquiry wizard for your users for both commercial and consumer type reports. You also need to import these information lists the first time you set things up, which is nice and easy. You simply tick the boxes and then click import. And of course, you need to make sure the use service option is ticked up the top of the cost center form. You can contact your Intersoft dealer for more information on the sign up process. And you can also be taken directly to the Credit and Data Bureau website by clicking the sign up button up the top here. To summarize, setting up credit inquiries in FinPower Connect using the Credit and Data Bureau service is very simple. First, getting licensed for credit inquiries in FinPower Connect and signing up for the Credit and Data Bureau service if you haven't already. Second is ensuring your IP address is whitelisted with the Bureau. And third, configuring the options in the cost center, which are as easy as one, two, three. Please contact your Intersoft dealer for more information.